This is the Argon 18 Gallium Pro of Bartosz Zazarski of the German Pro Continental team Bora Argon 18. Now, Argon 18 is a Canadian company. The frame is engineered and designed in Canada, and the 2016 iteration of this light climbing frame sees a completely different carbon layup. The characteristics of this frame quite an interesting tapered top tube, seat tube and down tube, very narrow, slim stays at the back for a comfortable yet responsive ride. Yeah, the groove set is a combination of Shimano and FSA. So we have the Dura Ace DI2 levers up there at the front, the front and rear mech here as well, and the cassette, which is 11 up through to 28 on this particular wheel. Now the brakes and the rest of the group set are provided, as I said, by FSA. Matt's gonna talk you through the brakes in a little while, but the crank set is also provided by them, and on it is mounted a power to max power meter. Now this I like for three particular reasons. Firstly, it's got an internal accelerometer and that means that there's no need to mount or stick any kind of magnet to your frame. Secondly, the batteries in this are user replaceable. So no need to send this thing back to the factory once the batteries wear out. And finally, it's also self calibrating. So any time that you don't use the pedals for three seconds or more, the unit will self calibrate itself and adjust to any temperature changes which you may have experienced out on your ride. So no need for the users to go up to the head unit and do it themselves. Now I've noticed also down that on the K-Force light chain set is opted for 175 millimeter cranks and the classic 53 times 39 permutation. Now many of you eagle-eyed tech heads out there would have noticed the K-Force brand new FSA brakes completely re-engineered for 2016. They've been in development for quite a while and a sneak peek for the new FSA uh, group set that's coming out later this year. Let's take a closer look. Still got the standard centre mount, they are dual pivot and they've been completely re-engineered for box section design which adds strength, rigidity and also uh, they've got a lower profile too so they're far more aerodynamic. And they've been engineered specifically to accommodate the wider rim sections that we're seeing, well that's so prevalent in the peloton these days Dan. Yeah, and they've actually got some fairly wide tyres on here. They're provided by Vittoria in the form of their coarser tubulars. If you look up here, it says 25 to 28. That presumably a slightly different width that is dependent on how wide the rim is that they are mounted onto. These tyres specify 100 to 175 psi. These are pretty hard. I don't hard, know if you can they? hear that but there's probably close to 175 PSI in these tyres. They are extremely solid at the moment. They're mounted onto FSA's Vision Metron 40 wheels, but the team do, of course, have the choice of different rim depths depending on the type of race that they're competing. Right, I think it's now time, Matt, to start telling the viewers about the CPs. And by CPs, we mean contact points. So handlebars, seats and pedals. But let's start at the top of the bike at the highest point, and that's a Prologo Zero saddle in team livery. Over to the front end, we've got a 13 centimeter FSA uh, stem, uh, fully slammed, as you'd expect in the Pro Peloton. 40 centimeter K-Force FSA bars, bit of a trend in the Peloton now, a lot of riders going for narrower bars for improved aerodynamics, speed play pedals, and a lovely color flourish on the Prologo bar tape here. I like that bit, Dan. Yeah which only leaves us really to talk about the bottle cages and bottles which are both provided by team sponsor Tax. Now, we know that you all like us to weigh the bikes. Matt and I once again forgot to bring the scales to Mallorca with us. We did. However, we did get these amazing scales from the team. So here is the moment of truth. 7.02 kilograms, so just a little bit above the current UCI minimum weight for bikes. But still a very light one. I actually really like the look of this one. It's really nice, loving it. Now we understand that Bora will soon be using the full FSA electronic group set, but in the meantime, if you want to see what that was all about, Tom Last got the scoop on it at last year's Tour de France. You can find that video just up there. He certainly did. And for more shiny pro bikes, how about clicking just down here for our pro bikes playlist. Yeah, and we're gonna have loads more pro bikes in 2016. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. And all you've got to do is click on that box just there. And don't forget to like it as well. Thumbs up. <laughs>